Hello all my data people. In today's video we are going to be talking about the new DAX query view and how it's been able to help generate um, paginated report queries super quick and easily compared to how they used to um, be needed to be generated. So all right, so I'm sure you guys have heard of the DAX query view before. Um, so today we're just going to be going through how you can use that new addition to Power BI Desktop and the service to help create some of those paginated report SSRS um, data queries, data source queries that are needed for those paginated reports. So let's just start with dumping on some data from our data model into a just basic table visual. So let's just grab a few fields from here. And once we get all of these fields included, this is when we can start using the DAX query view to grab our query that we will need for SSRS or for Report Builder. So let's just say we've got a few different fields in our um, visual. Let's go ahead and rename these. Let's go client name for a client field, candidate name for a candidate field. That field is fine and then a measure in there. So, all right, so let's just say we're going to build out a very basic paginated report just to have a breakout for, let's just say, like an invoice for the clients and how much each placement has cost. All right, so we've got all of our fields on our visual. Now what we need to do for a paginated report is we need to generate a paginated report query to be able to include this Power BI data within our report builder model. So if we hop into a report builder here, what we're going to need is we need to have our query, right? This is what we're going to be using within the query view in Power BI to include in our query on Power BI report builder, right? So let's hop back into Power BI desktop. So here's that query that we're going to want to use for our paginated report. So what we want to do is we want to go into this view section, turn on the performance analyzer. Let's go ahead and start recording and let's just refresh the visuals. So once we've got our table on our performance analyzer, you see that you have this option of run in DAX query view or copy query. So one, you can go with copy query and that works as well. And then you can hop over to your DAX query view and paste it in there to start working on it. But let's just use this run in DAX query view. So if we click on that, that brings us into the DAX query view and it automatically opens up the um, DAX syntax being used to generate that table visual, right? So this is a great starting point for that paginated report visual query that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and start with adjusting this like we need. So as you can see that when that copying or running the visual sample within DAX query, it's always going to give this primary window, right? So within Power BI, just so it can um, be efficient when it's loading the pre data previews, it's always going to try to do it in a batch type sense. So it's going to start with a primary window. And for our paginated report query, we don't want our data filtered down by a top end or anything like that. So we can just go ahead and remove this primary window part. So let's just go ahead and delete that part. And then down here in our evaluation statement, we're going to want our core query. So again, because we don't want to um, batch any of that data. We don't want to filter anything out. We just want our full query to be used. So we're going to use that DSO core in our evaluate. So we're just going to paste that into our evaluate to remove that preview sample that was in there before. And this order by, you can keep it. It's not needed though. So I'll typically delete that as well. All right. So let's go back to just the full query. So this is what we start with. We start with this whole thing when we run our visual when we run, run this table visual, so this table visual contains all the data that we want within our paginated report. We click on that run in DAX query view. When we click on that, this is what we start with, right? Again, we just want to get rid of that batching or sampling that it's doing and adjust our evaluation to use the main window. And then we don't need this order by, we can just remove that stuff as well. And let's just go ahead and run the query to make sure that that's still all good. And then you can see down here, we still have our table doing everything that we needed to do within the paginated report side. So our query is looking good to go. So now what we can do is we can just copy this adjusted query. We can hop back into report builder here. So within report builder, we first need to connect to our Power BI model that we're using as a source for our paginated report. So we're going to go and click on this add Power BI semantic model. 
let it spin up, find all of your workspaces you have access to, and then select the workspace and model you want to use as that data source. Once that data source is connected, now we can use that um, DAX query that we generated in Power BI Desktop to add a data set to bring in all of the data that we need. So if we go into Add Data Set, we can, let's select that data source. Let's go query name is going to be demo query. And then down in the query type, this is where we're going to just have that query be text. Let's just make this a bit bigger here. And this is where we're just going to copy and paste that Power BI query that we got in our DAX query view from running the table visual with all those fields we need. So we're just going to copy this and paste this into our paginated report report builder query. So once we've got that pasted in there, we can just go ahead and validate query. Now this is going to run that query against the data source, so that Power BI model that we have, and then you're going to get a little notification or warning saying that it was successful or not. And so again, since we generated this directly in Power BI Desktop using this exact same model, we know it will validate, right? So we don't have to worry about any of the validation. We've just got to wait for it to sit, spin up. Once it's validated, we can hop back to the fields. We can see there are all those fields that we needed. We've got our measure. We've got our three lookup fields that we need. So we are all good to go. So once we push the OK button here, now we can see, voila. Now we've got all of our query data within our paginated report. We can start building out this report. So if we just hop, throw something in here, Let's just include client name, candidate, and then in this guy, let's go ahead and sum up our measure field here, just so that we can run a little sample. And so now if we run this report, we'll just be able to see that we don't get any errors, right? So now we can see that we are pretty much just running a copy of our little table within Power BI Desktop compared to Report Builder, right? So we've got kind of that Johnson LLC, we've got Sharp, so we can just kind of go top and bottom and we can see that our data is now included in our Report Builder design. So we can just continue to build out this paginated report and whatever customized um, layout that we might need for um, the printing purposes of what we're doing a paginated report for, right? So that DAX query within Power BI Desktop is a super powerful tool to just be able to speed up that query generation for report builder design. Um, so you don't need to worry about designing that query or knowing what kind of syntax you need within report builders query builder. You can just get the query directly from Power BI Desktop using this DAX query view um, function. So it's super awesome, this DAX query view that they were introduced. So you can do all of this query generation super easily directly in desktop and just copy and paste it into report builder. Hopefully this helps you guys whenever you guys are building out your paginated reports. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one.